pal, it's Shannon from Smellicious Soaps here, and I have got my elemental swirl. And so since tomorrow is Saturday and it's the reveal day, I figured I'd go ahead and cut it now. And from what it appears on the side, it looks like my uh, mica line shifted, so I'm a little worried about what it's going to look like on the inside. This side's even worse than that side. But I guess we can only tell if we cut it, right? So here we go. Gonna cut off a little end slice. Oh. <laughs> Other than my mica line doing this weird smear thing, maybe I'm gonna cut it from the side. It looks good, actually. I know you're thinking, stop cleaning stuff up and show us already. Okay, here you go. I think it looks pretty ding dang good. The yellow really comes out. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yellow with orange and pink in my yellowish kind of batter. And then my green and my blue and my purple. It all came out really well. I'm rather liking, I hope you can see that. Because I can't see because you're way up there, holy cow. All right, so there's that. And I'm gonna flip this over on its side so that I don't drag that line through again. All right. That's better. Oh. Oh, that's nice. It's got this weird, like, bumpy texture to it. I don't know what to think about that, but it's cute. I like it. I like it a lot. It's very nice. I hope you guys can see that. I kind of hate filming like this, but... Oh, yeah, and the top. My splatter paint top. I like the way the side looks like right there. It's kind of weird purple and I like it. And this is really pretty right here. <clears throat> if I do say so myself. Get this black oxide mica whatever stuff up over the place. And I'll tell you what, it was a bear to clean up. It was impossible, like almost literally. Ooh, this one's my favorite by far, so far. It's very, very pretty. I've got that side. And this top is very pretty. It's kind of busy for my tastes, but I do like it. I'm more of a simplistic kind of person. I like two colors is nice. Six is kind of... Uh, pushing my boundaries for, I don't know, anyway. I like it though, I think it's pretty. But unless I'm doing a challenge, I probably won't do it again, just because, like I said, I'm more about simplicity. And not simplicity so far as just less busy. I mean, this really reminds me of the 60s. Maybe next time I do like a patchouli-based fragrance, I'll do this. Because <laughs> it seems kind of fitting. I don't know. Considering I did not live in the 60s, since, you know, I wasn't born yet. Sorry for those of you who were. But close enough. 70s, right? Well, the end, 79. Ooh, I just dated myself. I might have to mute this. All you youngins out there, born in the 80s and 90s, I don't want to hear it. Okay? Because when you were still crying for your mommies, uh, I definitely was not. Because, you know, teenagers who just said, oh, look, there goes my mica line. Right in the middle. Ding, dang. 
Well, I guess it was bound to happen at some point. Still pretty good right there, though. Dang. Well, that makes me sad. But since it's like all bunched up over here, I kind of figured that that's what happened. God, this black mica is just all over the place. I hope once it cures, it doesn't do this. Because that is really obnoxious. Might be the last time I use that for like a line like that. Ugh. See? Oh, what a pain in the butt. Well, it's so weird that it's like it's still you can still distinguish where the line was. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's all traveled here. It didn't do that on the other side. Just there. Which is really obnoxious. And it wipes off so easily. I might have to trim the sides. At least this side. So that it doesn't do that. Because that would just be so sad. And then you get in the shower and then have black all over. Because I think that's exactly what would happen if I left it like that. But there's my swirl, very pretty. I'm liking it so far. Except for the black all over the place. I have such a thing about having my hands clean, which is a good thing I make soaps, right? Because if my hands feel dirty, regardless of the fact if they are dirty, I have to wash my hands, which means in the summertime, because you're sweating and all that, because my hands swell up with the heat, I end up washing my hands so much that they end up cracking. So it's a good thing now I know how to make uh, like lotions and body butters and stuff. <clears throat> when will the line come back? Maybe never, huh? Well, that's pretty though. I like it. I like the swirl. It is very nice, this in the pot swirl business. Purdy, purdy. I like it. Watch, I'm going to be watching this video, ready to upload it, and like none of my shots of my soaps are going to come through. I'll have to like do a post cut video instead. Now, instead of black oxide or mica, whatever this stuff is. I am getting glitter everywhere. Whoops, back, back. Gosh, this scent this smells so good. I don't think it smells much like a gummy bear anymore. I don't know if I mentioned that in the video yesterday, but mm, it smells very clean and like fruity, but not excessively sweet. It smells a lot more like a red apple or the red apple fragrance than it does anything else that I put in there. But because it's a blend of a bunch of different things, it just smells so clean. Like it's not over sweet. That's an interesting swirl. The top part. It's very interesting. There's that side. I like that. It's nice with the like the mottled, M-O-T-T-L-E-D, mottled, white. It's party. I do like it a lot. And last cut. I may not be able to use this end for um, a, a sample because of that. But, oh, <laughs> I do have a sample um, loaf, and I just lacked because I remembered that I put it in the freezer and I forgot to take it out. There's the 
sort of sample. I don't think I'm going to be able to use this unless I can clean up all this oxide off of here. Which I don't think I'm... Oh, you know what? Look, I can see soap underneath. Look at that. See? I don't know if you can see, but I can see it. I might be able to use that as a sample piece. Yay! Oh, this drives me nuts. Okay. And last piece. And there you have it. There we go. And the last top. So there we go, my elemental swirl. It turned out quite nicely, considering that was my very first try and I was very freaked out. I actually might go get my sample one and cut that just to see what it looks like. Anyway, I will see you all later. Bye, thanks for watching.